Right now, school officials in Sun Prairie offering some new details about how they are dealing with a racially insensitive school assignment. Plus, before the second impeachment trial of former President Trump can begin, another vote by the Senate to decide if it's even legal. The temperature has dropped again, and we still have room to go in terms of how cold our temperatures go this morning. This is News 3 Now This Morning. Thanks for joining us, everyone. Tuesday, February 9th. But we started the show off, and it was 11 below zero, I think, Leah Lenshine. You're right. I think we're, we're getting colder. Last time we checked, it was negative 14. That cold weather continuing. Chris Reese is keeping an eye on the temperature that continues to dip. Chris, what's yes, going on? Yes, it does. We are now at 16, 16 degrees below. No. below zero. And again, I'm showing you a wind chill map, but our temperature is lined up with the wind chill this morning because the wind is not blowing in Madison. So whenever the wind does blow, you have a much starker difference. The wind chill actually affecting Dubuque, Iowa at negative 30 right now. But here we are. We're focused on just temperatures and we are at 16 below zero, 18 below in the Dells and 21 below in Lone Rock. Even Janesville has now dropped towards four degrees below zero. So all across the board, we've seen our temperatures come down a couple degrees as we've gone into the next hour and the sun is yet to come up. Until that sun comes up and really gets going, temperatures still have room to drop as long as we keep the clear skies out there. So it is going to be cold. We're already starting to see at least the first glimmer of hope and light on the horizon to warm things up. But folks, it is just downright cold as you walk out the door this morning. So grab that jacket because it is something you're going to need. Here's some good news for you. You saw the sunshine, so Doppler track is clear. You don't have to worry about the snow or anything like that this morning as you did the past couple of mornings. In fact, if you're looking for snow, it's going to be further across the south. I've been talking about northern Kentucky this morning. They had a snowfall forecast of one to three inches yesterday. They have ended up with eight inches of snow so far this morning and under a winter storm warning. So an uh, eventful night for them. We're staying quiet. We're going to watch that go by the wayside, but we do have at least a little chance to see some snow in our forecast that actually comes our direction as we move into your Thursday night and Friday shouldn't be a big deal but nonetheless we are going to watch a little snow chance there it's so cold that it does not take much moisture to begin to shake things up a little bit and we're going to have just enough moisture that we could see some light accumulating snow as we move into Thursday we've been watching the core of the cold it's been staying to our north we are this cold, and the core of the cold is to our north. Let that sink in for a moment. But as we get towards the weekend, that's when the core of the cold tries to move our way, and then it begins to moderate just a little bit. A high of 8 today. We're going to stay below zero each and every single night with your overnight lows, but perhaps the coldest period arrives as we go from Saturday night and into your Sunday. But, folks, things are surely going to be chilly. Yeah. Several more days of it, too. Thanks, Chris. Several more yeah. days. I do Six have traffic. <laughs> I forgot about traffic for you really quickly, <laughs> but let's talk about that. Things are looking good this morning. I was so thrown off by the cold that I, you know, I had a whole extra presentation for you. <laughs> uh, but here's how things are playing out across Dane County. Things are all good. We're in good shape, and the goal is to keep it that way. A lot of folks are staying home. It's cold. You don't even want to go out anyway uh, with it being that cold. But the goal is to keep traffic running smoothly this morning. I'll let you know if that changes. There you go. Thanks, Chris. <laughs> 603 right now, the 17-year-old accused of shooting two people inside the Fox River Mall is now being held on a $1.5 million cash bond. Desmond Ellis is accused of killing a man inside the mall on January 31st during an argument over a girl. A bystander was also wounded by a stray bullet. That person is expected to make a full recovery. Ellis was eventually found and arrested in Des Moines, Iowa last week. He's since been extradited to Outagamie County. Looking ahead, students in Middleton will be returning to class soon. The Middleton Cross Plains School District has unanimously voted to return to an in-person or a blended model plan. Kids in grades pre-K through 4 already returned February 1st. Middle school will come back February 2nd, 22nd rather, the high school March 11th. Families do still have the option to stay all virtual. Sun Prairie Area Schools addressed a racially insensitive assignment about slavery given to sixth graders last week. It's the first time the district has talked about how the assignment that it called a grave error in judgment slipped through the cracks. Teachers are allowed to use other material. Three of them used this one right here, but off of a site called Teachers Pay Teachers. They're supposed to make sure, though, that it fits within the district's mission. 
The district will now develop an anti-racist instructional framework and is committed to hiring a staff member to focus on specific to specifically focus on equity and that should happen by July 1st. That was a suggestion from the African American Parent Network. Though many of the school board members didn't say much in their recent meeting, Marilyn Ruffin did speak of the memories and pain this incident brought her. This was Black History Month. We look forward to having uh, the opportunity to be celebrated and the timing of this assignment really got to me. This morning, the teachers involved are still on administrative leave. This investigation is being done by a third party attorney. The district says it'll update the community on the conclusion and they're going to reconvene the social studies committee to review the curriculum. Dane County health officials are updating their gathering limits with the new emergency order. Order number 13 goes into effect tomorrow. Public health officials will change the gathering sizes based on whether food or drinks are offered. For indoor gatherings with food or drinks, it's limited to 25 people. Without, that number is up to 50 people. And for outdoor gatherings without food, 100 people can gather. Uh, with food, rather, 100 people can gather. Without food, gatherings are capped at 150 people. The new order also goes over updated face covering requirements and it eases restrictions on sporting events. There's a lot of new information. So you can find a full breakdown of all of these new rules over on our Channel 3000 app. Wisconsin has recently recorded its lowest number of new COVID cases since August. Some great news to share this morning. Health officials confirmed fewer than 550 new cases Monday. That's well below the seven day average. DHS officials said that 767,000 doses of the vaccine have been administered, while more than 165,000 people have received both doses. Well, after a slow start to vaccine rollout, Wisconsin is now climbing up the ladder. According to new data released by the CDC, Wisconsin is now the 18th highest state in total number of vaccinations administered. The vice president of pharmacy services at SSM Health says they're seeing this trend too on a local level. With the increase in number of vaccination clinics statewide, it's helping increase overall numbers. And if we keep this up, Wisconsin will be headed in the right direction. The CDC said a few weeks ago, states that administer more vaccines will be allocated more vaccines. It's, it's basically, it, it, basically, it's a way to reward states for having a good, efficient process. He also says that as more people see others getting vaccinated, it's encouraging more people to sign up for appointments. UW Health says it's reaching out to reschedule vaccination appointments after nearly 30,000 people made appointments despite only having about 3,600 doses on hand. The hospital has a new dashboard out this morning that doctors say will give patients more clarity about the process. It shares information about the number of vaccine doses UW Health has received, the total number of doses administered, the number of scheduled appointments, and the total number of available vaccines. Rock County will soon be home to the first community vaccination site in Wisconsin. Well, Health officials didn't announce where that will be exactly. They say it will become operational on February 16th. It'll initially be able to vaccinate up to 250 people a day. Officials say that number could rise too if Wisconsin's vaccine allocations increase. They hope to vaccinate 1,000 people per day at some point. 608, your time now. Today, the second impeachment trial of former President Trump begins. It's likely to last at least a week, though a vote to convict is considered unlikely. CBS's Deborah Alfaron is on Capitol Hill with the details. Advisors to former President Donald Trump are confident heading into his second impeachment trial today. We already know how this is going to turn out. I mean, there, there's no chance that there's actually going to be a, a conviction. Democrats will try to convince at least 17 Republicans that Mr. Trump incited an insurrection on the U.S. Capitol on January 6th. And if you don't fight like hell, you're not going to have a country anymore. In a 78-page brief, Mr. Trump's lawyers called the case sterile and thin, political Theater, and a danger to our republic, democracy, and the rights that we hold dear. Really what we're seeing here is cancel culture via the Constitution. House impeachment managers say the former president's behavior was the most grievous constitutional crime ever committed by a president. Sweeping such something as momentous as this under the rug brings no healing. Arguments begin this afternoon on whether it's constitutional for the Senate to try a former president. And then starting tomorrow, it's expected each side will have up to 16 hours to make their case. And the only logical conclusion is that Donald Trump should be convicted. New York Democrat Hakeem Jeffries was an impeachment manager in President Trump's first trial. Connecting the dots is going to be an important part of what the House impeachment managers do 
as it relates to how we arrived at January 6th, connected to the big lie that Donald Trump told. Democrats are not expected to call any witnesses, instead choosing to show video evidence. Deborah Alfaron, CBS News, Washington. And we're following some breaking news this morning. The World Health Organization has announced that COVID-19 most likely came from an animal. It says that a leak, though, from a lab is extremely unlikely, supporting data against that theory. WHO experts have been in Wuhan, China, investigating the origin of the virus for the past month. This is the group's first report. 610 now. Coming up, socially distanced concerts could soon be a re reality right here in Madison. We're talking about just how much the experience could cost you. And we're live in the 608 this morning, checking out Madison's newest cookie shop. Coming up, they're going to teach me how to dress some cookies that are hot out of the oven. Stay with us. You're watching News 3 Now this morning. Thanks for voting All Comfort Services Madison Magazine's Best of Madison 2020. And thanks to our entire All Comfort team who's eager to help our customers and provide them with a consistently remarkable experience. All Comfort Services, we're here to make all of your home more comfortable. The fact that group of law offices actually came to my home made a huge difference for me. I felt uh, assured that they would be able to turn things around for me and make me whole. And that's exactly what happened. I really felt that my case was in the hands of a professional. And it was a, a painless process. Injured? Call Gruber Law Offices. One call, that's all. Once you get past the initial shock of what happened, Gruber Law Offices will take you from there. Surgenian's 91-year history means you pay $91 for installation no matter how many rooms you carpet. Get carpet and pad, your furniture moved, and your old carpet recycled. Our competitors can't match it. Ask about 18-month financing. Local, sustainable Surgenian's. Needed Relief Day Spa and Wellness is a place where you can relax, be pampered, and revitalize your life in a safe and tranquil environment. Our guest safety and comfort is our top priority. Revitalize yourself at Needed Relief today and give the gift of wellness to those you love with a Needed Relief gift card. Available now online. It's exactly what we all need. Needed Relief Day Spa and Wellness. Madison's world-class wellness spa. Keep more presidents in your pocket during Steinhoffel's President's Day Sale. Save 35% store-wide, plus take an extra $100 off and get great deals like a full or queen memory foam mattress, $299. This sofa, now just $399. Or a five-piece dining set, also $399. A queen bed, $649. Steinhoffel's has the largest selection of in-stock furniture and mattresses at the guaranteed lowest prices. Save big during Steinhoffel's President's Day Sale. Is your credit score getting in the way of the things you want to do? Personal loans through NetCredit offer fast and flexible lending. Borrow up to $10,000 and choose repayment terms that work for you. You may even be able to build your credit history as you repay. NetCredit, a more personal, personal loan. Dear Winter, I'm coming. My squad of 15 vehicles with all-wheel drive and four-wheel drive is ready to take you on. Safety's the name of my game. So you better bundle up, Toyota. President's Day deals are on. Get $1,500 customer cash on a new 2021 Highlander or Highlander Hybrid. Find yours at Toyota.com. Toyota, let's go places. All Comfort Services is the area's most trusted heating, cooling, plumbing, and electrical company. Don't forget to nominate All Comfort Services Madison Magazine's Best 2021 Heating, Cooling, Plumbing, and Electrical Company at allcomfortservices.com today. 613, time to slow things down and see what's happening in the 608 this morning. You have so many good spots in the Madison area to grab a sweet treat, right? But a new one opened up just last weekend and it's drawing a lot of attention so far. Josh Breider's checking it out for us this morning. Ooh, lucky assignment today. Josh, you're live at Crumble Cookies near Hilldale. How is it? Hey, good morning, guys. It is great. It smells great in here. It's nice and warm with the ovens. We're right across from the Hilldale Target at Crumble Cookies. This is the newest location. You guys also opened up one in Sun Prairie. Court Hanks here. He's the general manager joining us so far. And you guys are already a big hit here, Madison. I, was, I hope so. Like We've had a great turnout so far. Last Friday, when we opened our doors here in Madison. We had a line out the door trying out all of our cookies. We're excited that this week we have a brand new uh, menu here on our rotating menu. Uh, one of them being our dirt cake that we're going to talk 
talk about here in a sec. Yeah, so you're trusting me with we're going to dress the cookie. That's, we, what, that's we, what it's called, right? Exactly. We call it dressing. So we've already shown the baking process, the mixing process, because we make our cookies fresh every day. We have our cookies nice and warm for all of our customers that come in. And the final step after our customer orders their cookie is we dress it to make it look exactly as it should. Beautiful and perfect. All right, so the dirt cake cookie, what do we got going on here? Okay, so this is a beautiful chocolate cookie. We call it the base we have here in front of us. We have all of our toppings and tools that we need. So of course, we're gonna have our, we have our chocolate swirl, our little frosting. Okay. Watch carefully, Josh. Oh, how you do it. Okay. <laughs> so this is a, what we call our thick swirl. So I like to just start right here in the middle. Give it a good amount. I'm a, I love to just make it look beautiful. Oh, that looks good. Oh, it is, <laughs> it is. Okay, perfect. All right, everyone, look at that one oh. now. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, that's a beautiful amount of frosting, but yet I'm not done. Yeah. I'm gonna come over here, I'm gonna grab my Oreo crumbs, I'm gonna spread them all over. Awesome, there you have my streusel. I'm gonna put that on top. And then do a little more Oreo. I have one more step afterwards, but I'm gonna let you take a shot. I'm dressing that sucker right there oh for you. Boy. So you guys have a unique uh, situation here because every week you have a different menu, correct? You have kind of a, a different uh, uh, cookies that you add to the menu every week? Correct. So four of our flavors oh change every single week. So this is one of the four that by this time next Monday, we'll uh, switch out for something new. We kind of have a, a little bit of a secret. We get our questions all the time saying, what's next on the menu? And we just simply say, hey, well, come on in and you'll find out. So not quite as smooth as you call it. <laughs> <Hey>. <laughs> it all that goes is, down the same, right? It, it all does. So that's just, hey, that's for a first attempt, that's pretty good. So you got the Oreo? You got the Oreo crumbs. Hey, oh as, add we'll as much as you would like, this, this could be yours. The streusel. Yeah, perfect. The Oreo. Hey, and then the your, topper. For, your topper. This is our Valentine topper. Get a little lip gummy right there, <laughs> put it right on top, and you're all set. So this is your dirt cake cookie. You guys have a limited menu. You also have <laughs> delivery and takeout options Correct. available. Correct. Correct, we do. So get on our app or online, and you can order uh, curbside. Pull right up, and we'll run it right out to your car. Well, of course, delivery. We have a nice range here in the Madison area. All right, Corey, thank you so much, thank guys. You. I mean, I think it turned out pretty good, guys. I don't know about you. <laughs> you get an A for effort, Josh, that's for sure. They're giving me an A for effort. Hey, back the wonderful. I hey, give, I give you an A as well. <laughs> that's how the cookie crumbles, guys. Back to you. <laughs> Josh Breider, considering a career change to cookie chef this morning. Josh Breider, thank you very much. So remember to let Josh know what inspires you in the 608. You can either reach out to him on social media or email him at in the 608 at wisctv.com for a chance to be featured. A socially distanced concert series is coming to Bree Stevens Field here in Madison this summer. FPC Live, which runs the Orpheum, the Majestic, the Sylvie, and High Noon Saloon in town, is hosting the Return to Live series starting in May. Instead of buying individual tickets, though, you can reserve a pod for up to four guests. Bree Stevens can typically hold 10,000 fans, but with these pods in the field and the stands capacity will be right around 1,500 instead. Ahead of Valentine's Day, Oprah Winfrey is hosting a free virtual wellness event on self-love. Oprah's Your Life in Focus, Be the Love You Need will take place on February 13th, this Saturday. It's being held in collaboration with WW, formerly known as Weight Watchers. Oprah will be joined by guests like Sierra, Jennifer Garner, and James Corden. Now, we don't need any more reasons to love Chris Reese, which is good news for him, given the forecast he's about to share. Chris. Yeah, things are downright cold out there, Leah. In fact, we are much colder than some parts of Alaska. You have Fairbanks. It's the one part of Alaska that is doing what Alaska does. They're 27 below zero, but it's four in Anchorage, 30 in Kodiak, three in Nome, and we are at negative 16 here in Madison, 18 below as you work your way up towards International Falls, even Omaha, Nebraska, coming in at 14 degrees below zero. Thankfully, the wind is not blowing out there, so as a result, our wind chill is pretty much in line with temperature, but that's just how cold temperatures are right now. We're going to be watching things closely, though, as we go throughout the day. 21 below in Lone Rock right now, only four below low in Janesville. Lone Rock's the winner. Camp uh, Black River Falls, which is typically one of our big cold spots, they're only at 20 below zero right now. But you factor in the wind and most spots are right around where their actual air temperature is. You've got a little bit of a wind chill in Watoma coming in at negative 23 and then a big wind chill 
for places like Dubuque, Iowa, coming in at negative 30 right now. But here's high resolution radar. Things do remain all clear for us, and they're going to be staying clear as we go throughout the day. The hope is that we can keep things clear pretty much all day long. Now let's go ahead and show you a little bit of what's happening in the world of your first warrant traffic there. So far, we're not seeing much in the way of delays. Things are all good. A couple of slowdowns showing up on East Wash. You've got a lot of traffic traffic lights there, so that's normal. We are seeing one area in the yellow on Stoughton Road. We'll watch that to see if any delays begin to pop up, but so far, all is good. Chris Reese, thank you very much. 6.20 now coming up. Carry out delivery or dine-in. That decision's up to you, but grab a slice of pizza today because it's National Pizza Day. And coming up in our next half hour, Kyle Rittenhouse could face arrest again. Why prosecutors say he gave the court false information. Stay with us. Cobison Buses, now hiring. Working with Cobison, it's definitely been great because of the flexibility. If you do need time off, they work around you. They, they definitely try to make it a company that's based for you. Visit cobison.com to apply. Stop whitening your smile the old-fashioned way with strips and trays that can take 30 minutes to an hour. I'm Jonathan Greenhut, the CEO of Paraswabs. When I met Dr. Ginnaker and he introduced me to Paraswabs and I saw how effective they were and how easy they were to use, I knew we had to share it with the world. Paraswabs was clinically studied to whiten natural teeth as well as stained caps, crowns, and veneers. It's so effective, it works on stains caused by coffee, tea, red wine, and and even smoking. For those of you who have that one stained tooth that's darker than the rest, Power Swabs can target that area using swab precision. I really love the fact that you're able to go individually on each tooth and make sure that it's going to be wider. So this Valentine's Day, if you have yellowing between your teeth or coffee stains near your gum line, just snap, swab, and smile. And each five-minute application, you'll see whiter teeth. So stop whitening your smile the old-fashioned way with strips and trays that can take 30 minutes or an hour and start using the power swabs five minute solution just snap swab and smile after just seven days the results were awesome power swabs was easy to use every day and each day i could see it better and better and from beginning to end it's definitely wider uh, they look clean they feel clean um and people have made comments about it, which is nice. Call for your five-minute solution to whiter teeth. So this Valentine's Day, order Power Swabs and receive up to 40% off the retail price. Get a free Power Swabs Quick Stick Pen with your order. The Quick Stick Pen is your on-the-go solution to help prevent stains from adhering to your teeth after drinking coffee, tea, or even after smoking. And in addition to saving up to 40% on your purchase and your free Quick Stick Pen, get free shipping by ordering now. Dial the number on your screen Green or visit powerswabs.com today. In the race for Greene County Judge, only one candidate has the experience to keep us safe, Jane Booker. As an attorney, Jane Booker is the only candidate with deep courtroom experience, handling over 2,300 cases. Jane Booker is the only candidate to help start a drug court, saving lives and reducing crime. And Jane Booker is the only candidate endorsed by hundreds of community leaders, judges, and attorneys. As your judge, I'm prepared to make tough decisions, treat people fairly, and keep Greene County safe and strong. Cobison Buses, now hiring. After we backed that bus out of its stall and started driving, I just loved it. We really get a chance to get to know each other. Almost everyone has a different story about how they came to bus driving. So you really end up feeling like you're part of a family. Visit cobison.com to apply. 623, thanks Linda for sharing her morning with us. Loving the colors in this picture. What's your morning look like, folks? Snap a pic, post it on our social media, use the hashtag MyNews3Morning, and we'll show our favorite on the air. Okay, it's uh, National Pizza Day. You know, the National Association of Pizza Operators says about 3 billion pizzas are sold in the U.S. each year. I believe it. Millions of different ways to order a pie, depending on the size, the cheese, the crust, the sauce, the toppings. So uh, we've been talking about pineapple on pizza this morning. Chris Reese's favorite is the Hawaiian pizza. Uh, Leah likes the carbs on hers. Do you guys have a favorite kind of uh, the crust? What kind of crust do you go for? Crispy, thin, pan? What do you think? For me, just the original crust. Because if you get the thick crust, it's too bready. 
and you know I would like to actually have some pizza with my crust sure. so <laughs> I don't want it to be too bready thin crust is nice I would go for that before the extra thick crust but sometimes okay. just the regular crust is all you need Leah is there such a thing as too thick of a crust for you? Absolutely not. You're gonna trust the guy who's given us negative double digits today. I to was right about them. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> that's true. That, it was accurate. Let's say that. It was accurate. I'll say that. But no, you can never have too much crust. I like to have a little side of Alfredo. So it's like, you Ooh. know, you got your pasta, you got your bread, you got your pizza. There you go. All I'm right, whistling. however you celebrate, it's National Pizza Day. Do what you do. Let's check in with Chris Reese now, the forecast. And uh, you were pretty spot on about this, Chris. We have been watching those temperatures drop even since the start of the show. Yeah, we have dropped several degrees since the start of the show. We have those wind chill advisories in effect until 9 o'clock this morning. The wind is not actually blowing all that much. It's just that temperatures are so low that if you get any kind of wind, you really see a difference here. So every temperature that you see pretty much right now is actually the air temperature, but you factor in the wind and Watoma drops to negative 23 and then Dubuque drops to negative 30. But otherwise, things are cold. A lovely Arctic orange of glow, uh, glow of orange on the horizon, but we do sit at 16 degrees below zero this morning. And that is also the wind chill for us right here in Madison. Doppler track remains all clear. The hope is that it should stay that way. The expectation is that it should stay that way as we go throughout the day. We may get a little bit of some cloud cover, but temperatures finally breach that zero degree threshold as we move towards 11 o'clock. News 3 Now First Warn Weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. We're transforming our annual Toto's Gala into Dane County Humane Society's centennial celebration. We're bringing the animals, cocktails, and success stories right into your home. To reserve your place, visit giveshelter.org. Culligan Water not only sells the best water softeners, but also rents them. Big box plumbers and online sellers don't. With renting, you never pay for repairs or extended warranties. And Culligan softeners are backed by the world's largest dealer network. Contact Culligan, the local water experts. I want a client who comes in to feel comfortable and to know that their case is in good hands so they can relax and get on with their life as best as they can and let me do the fighting for them. That's how I want them to feel. Gingris Thompson and Walks. If your credit card debt is out of control, if you're in over your head in monthly payments, there's a secret the credit card companies don't want you to know. If you have more than $10,000 in credit card debt, you have the right to let us settle that debt for a fraction of what you owe. That's bad news for the credit card companies, but it's great news for you. We're Credit Associates, and we're offering you free information on how to completely resolve your credit card debt with a monthly payment you can afford. To see how much you can save, call now, 1-800-905-1069. Don't declare bankruptcy. Don't consolidate. Give us 10 minutes, and we can save you thousands. After all, we depend on your success and offer a guarantee so there's no risk to call. Credit Associates. Live better. Better, debt free. Find out how easy it is by calling now. For the secret the credit card companies don't want you to know, call Credit Associates now and see how much money you could save for free. Call 1 800 905 1069. At U.S. Cellular, we're building a powerful 5G network that works without interruption in the places you wouldn't expect. And with every plan at U.S. Cellular, you get access to 5G at no additional charge. So no matter where you are, U.S. Cellular's network always keeps you connected in the places you need it most. At U.S. Cellular, all of our plans include 5G and get unlimited data for just $30 a month with four lines. U.S. Cellular. It's time for the Great American Sales Event at your local Ford store. To celebrate, we're offering 1,000 President's Day cash on top of other offers on Ford F-150. With deals on America's workhorse, now's a great time to buy. Hurry in or shop online before February 15th. For a limited time, get 1,000 President's Day cash on a 2020 Ford F-150 for $7,250 in total value. Celebrate during the Great American Sales Event going on now. 
We're transforming our annual Toto's Gala into Dane County Humane Society's centennial celebration. We're bringing the animals, cocktails, and success stories right into your home. To reserve your place, visit giveshelter.org. We're following breaking news about the origins of the coronavirus this morning. Some of the coldest air in a couple of years is on top of us right now, but could the coldest air still be yet to come? And we're live in the 608 this morning, checking out Madison's newest cookie shop. Just ahead, we'll take you inside and show you some of the deliciousness. This is News 3 Now This Morning. Good morning, everybody. Thanks for joining us here on a Tuesday. It's hard to believe that we could see colder air than what we're experiencing this morning. It continues to go down. We woke up right around 3 a.m. to negative 11. It dropped to 14 below. Now we're at 16 below. Chris, what's going on? Well, what we have is this upper level area of low pressure, Leah. That's been keeping us cold for the past couple of days. And this is going to send colder air our way by the time we get you towards the end of the week and into the weekend. Watch how the slope continues to spin around and gradually work its way south with the northwesterly flow being pulled in, we get a lot of colder air. And our storm track that had been so active on top of us has begun to quiet down a little bit simply because that's further towards the south and east. So get this. We have our wind chill advisories and our wind chill warnings throughout the northern part of the country. But then you start to pay attention to all this blue that you're seeing across the mid-south from Arkansas all the way through most of Kentucky and up towards West Virginia. These are winter storm watches as a likely significant uh, event is getting ready to play out for them likely more so dealing with ice more than snow but our arctic high it's in control for us, keeping things dry today. You see that stationary front with the wave of low pressure down towards the south and east. This is overall going to be our weather setup for the next couple of days. That's why we're going to see multiple storm systems pass by to our south. But we do have our own snow chance, too. We'll get to that in just a moment. In the meantime, Doppler track is all clear for us throughout south central Wisconsin. Beautiful sunrise starting to show up. But the sunshine, it is foolery as we go throughout today because the actual air temperature right now is at 16 degrees below zero. We have snow on the ground. So as the sun comes up, it's going to reflect off the snow. So it's not going to warm us up all that much. 21 below zero in Lone Rock right now. 17 below in the Dells. Watoma coming in at negative 10. Most of us are well below zero throughout the morning. You factor in just a little bit of wind and you see quite a difference. In fact, Monroe, their wind chill has now picked up to 24 below zero, still feeling like 30 below zero as you work your way over towards Dubuque there. So as we take you hour by hour throughout the rest of today, ultimately we don't see that much of an improvement. We're still going to be below zero by the time we get you towards 10 o'clock. We'll only warm up to about eight. That does come with a little bit of sunshine, but we'll see more clouds trying to move into the mix tonight. We're back below zero by the time we wake up tomorrow morning, and then you see we're only around nine degrees as we begin to move into your Wednesday. One thing I'm watching, though, as we start to move into Thursday is a light snow chance that begins to develop right on top of us. So we've been watching this one for the past couple of days. I first brought it to you on Monday, which was yesterday, but it was also mentioned over the weekend. We're still watching Thursday night and into Friday. We could see a light snowmaker that moves through. It should not be that big of a deal, but here's the deal. When you have temperatures this cold, it doesn't take much moisture to squeeze out a couple of inches of snow. So Thursday into Friday could be accumulating snow on top of the cold, and then we will gradually begin to get better. By the time we get you towards next Wednesday and next Thursday, there's some improvement on the horizon. Temperatures should likely make it into the 20s at that point. We're also watching traffic this morning. We do have one stalled vehicle that has shown up on the belt line. So far, it's not creating any delays. It's off on the shoulder there, but we are, of course, seeing our standard slowdowns that you would see on East Wash right now, especially inbound headed towards the Capitol. We're going to continue to watch that traffic. If anything pops up that begins to create major delays, of course, I'll let you guys know. Now, Chris, snow is also good news because it generally means warmer temperatures, right? Snow typically warms things up. So if you noticed on that extended forecast, uh, Thursday and Friday were a little bit warmer. We were closer to 10 degrees for that high. 
but we also have the chance for snow. When you get more moisture into the atmosphere, typically you warm things up just a little bit. Hey, we'll take more inches if it means higher temperatures. Chris Reese, thank you very much. 634 now, we have some breaking news. Within the last hour, experts from the World Health Organization have announced COVID-19 most likely came from an animal, then jumped to humans. It says a leak from a lab is extremely unlikely. WHO experts have been in Wuhan, China, investigating the origins of the virus for the past month now. This is the group's first report. A Dane County school district will send all grades back to in-person learning. Board members from the Middleton Cross Plains Area School District just voted unanimously on that proposal. It's part of a blended model. A phased return to in-person learning had already been approved in December. Now, middle school students are scheduled to go back on the 22nd. High schoolers will go back on March 11th. Families can still choose to keep their kids virtual. Pre-K through fourth graders started going back at the beginning of the month. Well, this decision comes as the state records some of the lowest numbers of new cases in months. Health officials confirmed fewer than 550 new cases yesterday. That's well below the seven-day average. The state continues to climb as one of the states with the best vaccine distribution rates as well. Big storyline here. 767,000 Wisconsinites have received at least one dose of the vaccine. More than 165,000 have received both doses. Wisconsin now ranks 18th nationally in this category, which is up from 44th just last month. New COVID cases trending downward nationally as well. Health departments reported fewer than 90,000 new cases yesterday. That's down from a high uh, that we posted on January 2nd of 300,000 cases. Experts say new variants, though, could lead to another surge in the weeks ahead. With those new strains circulating in Wisconsin and across the country, Dr. Fauci says people need to get vaccinated as quickly as possible to stop more mutations from emerging. He says viruses can't mutate if they don't replicate. The two things that we can do is A, make sure we adhere to the public health measures B, get as many people vaccinated as quickly as we possibly can. That's the best defense against the evolution of variants. He says even though the vaccines provide a lower level of protection against those variants, there is still enough protection to prevent you from getting seriously sick. Time right now is 636. The first day of former President Donald Trump's second impeachment trial will start today. It'll consist of a debate and a vote first as to whether the trial itself is constitutional. The House has charged Trump with a single article of impeachment that accuses him of inciting the deadly January 6th attack on the Capitol. Law enforcement in D.C. increasing security around the Capitol for the trial. National Guard members are patrolling the grounds along the 8-foot non-scalable fence topped with razor wire. The feds say they're not tracking any specific or credible threat, but they are on high alert. None of Wisconsin's National Guard members are still there in D.C. We are exactly one week away from the February primary here in Wisconsin. Everyone will have at least one race on their ballot. That's the statewide nonpartisan race for state school superintendent. That person is responsible for overseeing education policy in the state. There are seven candidates vying for the spot. Based on how you vote, the top two will advance to the April election. You can find more about the races in your area and how to vote absentee on myvote.wy.gov. Kyle, right now could face arrest again. The 18-year-old is accused of killing two protesters in Kenosha last year. He's currently out on bail, but prosecutors say he gave the court an address where he no longer lives. A quiet apartment complex in Antioch, Illinois, is where prosecutors thought Rittenhouse was living. Aiden Earl and his girlfriend, Anna Mueller, they and their roommates, they had no idea that they had moved into Rittenhouse's former apartment until two detectives showed up at their door. Prosecutors argue that puts the current occupants at the Antioch address at risk. We're realizing that our address is very public to whoever wants it. Um, there's been a lot of like, okay, make sure the blinds stay closed, make sure those doors are locked, double checking everything again. Rittenhouse's defense team says he's staying at a safe house because they're worried about death threats. Prosecutors want Rittenhouse arrested again and his bond up by $200,000. Defense lawyers want Rittenhouse's address kept private. Regardless of what happens in court, the new residents of Rittenhouse's old apartment want to be left alone. A decision on whether Rittenhouse should be arrested again is expected on Thursday. All right, take a look at this new video into the newsroom overnight. This driver, lucky to be alive. Are you kidding me? Look at that after his pickup truck plunged off a 70-foot expressway ramp in Milwaukee, all caught on camera. You can see the truck hit a snow pile that was pushed up against the median wall and then launched over onto a side, twisted in the air, and somehow managed to land on the tires. 
The Sheriff's Department says a preliminary investigation shows the driver just simply lost control of the vehicle before the crash. He was not under the influence of any drugs. This is a good reminder of just how icy it is with these temperatures right now. So easy to lose control. So happy to hear that man is alive. It's a miracle, really. Yeah, I know, right? Especially on those elevated surfaces, you got to be careful. Those uh, on-ramps and off-ramps like that that are way up there in the air, they can freeze in an instant, you know? Tank it slow. Mm -hmm. 639 now. We'll look outside on that frigid Tuesday morning that you're waking up to. Beautiful sunrise, though. Chris Reese has an update on what kind of wind chill we're talking about today. That's after the break. And we're live at Crumble Cookies in Madison this morning, talking a little bit about their process here. Just ahead, we're going to see why exactly they chose to move to the 608. That's when we come back. Rest comfortably with brands you can trust at Wanaki Furniture ETC. Create a unique and stylish room with made-in-the-USA products from companies like Smith Brothers of Burn. Select from a wide variety of sofas at a great price. Bring quality home at Wanaki Furniture ETC. We drive everywhere to help our son reach his dream of becoming an elite swimmer. So we enrolled in the Know Your Drive program with American Family Insurance. It gives us discounts for safe driving and other benefits, like emergency roadside service, which comes in handy, no matter where his dreams take him. With Know Your Drive, save up to 20% and get closer to your dreams. American Family Insurance. Insure carefully, dream fearlessly. Medical bills, missed time at work, life-changing injuries, household expenses. When you're the victim of an accident, it can feel like the weight of the entire world is on your shoulders. But we've dedicated our personal injury law firm to help take this crippling burden off your back. Habish, Habish & Rotier. We fight for what's right. It's a fact. We use our internet and TV more than ever, with most of us spending nearly seven hours a day online. So it's no wonder thousands of families are switching to Spectrum, because most families have up to eight connected devices, which means they need even more speed. Switch to Spectrum Internet and get the fastest starting speeds for the price. 200 megabits for just $44.99 a month, with a free modem and free security suite included. Call 833-546-4499. When it comes to TV, we're watching more than ever. In fact, 80% of us watch TV every day. Spectrum TV lets you catch all your favorite sports, news, and more live. Plus, download the free Spectrum TV app and watch on your devices. Switch to Spectrum TV from $44.99 a month. Call 833-546-4499. The fact is, Spectrum has the best services at the best price. Switch to Spectrum Internet and TV from $44.99 a month each with no contracts. We'll even buy out your current contract. Call 833-546-4499. Experience handcrafted and hand-finished furniture by genuine Amish craftsmen at Wanaki Furniture ETC. Featuring hardwood made in the USA home furnishings by Simply Amish and other great brands you can trust. Bring quality home at Wanaki Furniture ETC. Every day, News 3 Now investigates. Taking action and challenging the status quo. Asking the important questions and getting the answers you deserve. It's our job and our duty to discover and report the facts, to make sure your voice is heard, and to help make a difference. That's why News 3 Now investigates. Welcome back. Time to see what's happening in the 608 this morning. There are plenty of spots in the Madison area to grab a sweet treat. There's a new one, though, and we are checking it out this morning. It's drawn a lot of attention. This one's called Crumble Cookies. It's near Hilldale. Josh Breider has been checking it out. Uh, so, Josh, uh, how do you think you did uh, decorating or dressing that cookie the last time we talked to you? <laughs> Hey guys, I think I did pretty well dressing the cookie. I think you guys agree. I think I did pretty well. I think one of them is actually in here. They put it in the box to go here, guys. So I must have done pretty well. We, yeah, you did it fantastic for your first <laughs> time. It usually takes a couple of days, but you nailed it. Well, hey, thank you so much. Uh, we've got Wes Henry joining us now, and you're the owner of Crumble Cookies. This is your second location that you've opened up here in the 608. What made you guys bring this brand here to Madison? You know, I've lived in the Midwest for a lot of my life. I've always, I'm such a fan of cookies. I'm such a 
kind of crumble in the rotating menu. And when the opportunity came this last year to be able to jump into crumble and bring it to the Midwest, I immediately thought, you know, Wisconsin's where we want to be and Madison and Sun Prairie are the perfect couple locations to start off on. So you guys are off and running. You've got all the employees working to get ready. You opened up at 8 o'clock and you mentioned the rotating menu. Talk a little bit about that because every week you have different cookies on the menu. Yeah, so every week, that's what keeps us exciting and relevant to our fans is each Sunday night we announce our cookie flavors for the week. So our four cookies that uh, change that are this week are red velvet, Nutella sea salt, uh, our dirt cake, and our Valentine's Day birthday cake. And then we always serve our milk chocolate chip and our chilled sugar. Next week it's going to change and honestly I promise you that every week you're going to come and you're going to be in love with a few of the cookies. So this is a unique week because you are talking about love. We've got Valentine's Day and you've got some Valentine's Day specials too. Absolutely. This is a really special week for us. It's our busiest day of the year. Um, we say hey a box of sugar cookies is better than a box of chocolates for your loved one. I promise you're going to love these. We have Valentine's, uh, Valentine's for the kiddos that offer a free cookie as well as our Valentine's Day special pack. So you got two locations right now in the 608, but you guys are just starting here in Wisconsin. You plan to open up a bunch of stores. We are so excited. Over the coming months, we're going to be expanding westward into Delafield, into the Milwaukee uh, greater area, and we hope to be able to have locations in the next year throughout all of Wisconsin. Okay, Wes, which cookie am I trying this morning? All right, my favorite this week is actually the Nutella sea salt. So, so one of these right, right here? Right here is the, is the Nutella. It's filled with a, nu the, a Nutella cream, drizzled with uh, some Nutella on top, and a little little bit of a just a sprinkle of sea salt still warm too it is still warm we make sure every cookie is warm, warm. and fresh and <laughs> messy too absolutely it it is just fantastic but I promise if Nutella is not your thing you're gonna find something on our menu that you absolutely love this week there's the Nutella right in the middle and hey, if you don't leave a little bit messy with some chocolate on your face, you're not doing it right. I feel for all the parents at home now that probably have to feed their kids cookies for breakfast, but I think you can have cookies at any time of the day, right? Oh, I love it. I wake up eating a little bit of cookies and I go to bed eating cookies. And I've lost, I think it's the perfect diet. I've lost like 20 pounds over the last <laughs> month. So everyone needs a couple of cookies. You start in those, you keep going with those New Year's resolutions. I promise cookies will be, <laughs> well, be Wes, part of that. Wes and Court, thank you guys so much for letting us in this morning. I tell you what, guys, this might be my favorite cookie I've ever had. That is really good. I'm sorry if my face is all messy, but I don't even care at this point because this is breakfast. Josh, the real question here is, are you enjoying torturing the rest of us? <laughs> Always, you guys. Of course oh. I do. <laughs> Here's the All right. Thanks, Josh. 6.46. Let's uh, turn to Chris Reese now and forecast. Hey, Chris. Good morning. Things are certainly cold out there. We've been talking about the wind chills and the temperatures all morning long. And the reality is wind chill and temperature are actually quite close to each other, but it is downright cold at 16 degrees below zero out there this morning. So bundle up if you've got to be headed out. Four below in Janesville. It's negative seven in Monroe right now. Negative 17 in the Dells and Camp Douglas with the big winner for the cold spot in southern Wisconsin right now is Lone Rock with an actual air temperature at 21 degrees below zero. Their wind chill is also in the same spot. 21 below the wind chill in Monroe. 30 below that wind chill as you work your way over towards Dubuque, Iowa. So one thing you're seeing is that when the wind blows, it truly creates a difference. The air temperature in Dubuque is only 9 below right now. So it's 21 degrees colder when the wind blows. So add that, do the math, it's 16 below here in Madison. I'm not going to do that on the air, that's too much for this early <laughs> in the morning. Here's high resolution radar though, we are all clear, that's certainly some good news. Some snowflakes are flying mainly towards our south and east. Uh, Northern Kentucky really cashed in on some snow overnight. They were expecting to see one to three inches of snow, uh, but I got updated from the family this morning, they got seven to eight inches of snow and that's common to happen <laughs> throughout that part of the country but here we are we're going to stay in the cold as we watch that snow fly to our south and east this morning temperatures will make it above zero by the time we get you towards about 11 o'clock or so by lunch your temperature should be right around four it's 20 degrees warmer than right now <laughs> when you put it that way that that doesn't sound too bad i know with some sunshine warmer. it might actually feel good a little bit optimistic that's All right. what we have to do thanks chris Stick around. The Morning Sprint is coming up next. We'll be right back. Look Who's 3 is sponsored by Three Bears Resort, indoor water park and conference center in Warrens, Wisconsin.
Attic Angel Community has earned a reputation as the one and only, but what's so memorable to the people who live here? It's good local heart. Interesting friends. The view from my window. Continuing education. The food. The amazing art studio. Happy hour. There are many reasons to love Attic Angel Community, but there's just one Attic Angel. When it comes to 2020, it's time to wipe the slate clean and get a fresh start now at Herzing University. Earn the degree you need for a lasting career. Herzing is accredited, transfer-friendly, and offers you the personal care and support so important during these times. We'll even waive your enrollment fee. A new year, a new career. You've got a clean slate. Impossible at Herzing. Call or click today. Going Cars is having a huge winter sale. Don't miss out on 2018 Chevy Cruises starting at $11,995 or $185 per month. That's right. You can buy a 2018 Chevy Cruise starting at $11,995 or $185 per month. Going Cars is family owned and operated for over 50 years. So just hurry in today and ask for my sister, Crystal the Pistol Gobin. Or my brother, Donovan Gobin. You gotta go to Gobin. GobinCars.com. your cars and clothes and canines you wash your cars and clothes and canines you wash your cars and clothes and canines at the magic wash at the magic wash Whoa. the new detroit style from pizza hut a golden crust with crispy, cheesy edges. That's 50% more cheese baked all the way to the edge. Okay, I'm hungry. Try the new Detroit style today. No one out pizzas the hut. This is one of the biggest furniture events of the year. The President's Sale at Slumberland. Come on. Slumberland Furniture has the best prices around on all sorts of furniture. And right now at our President's Sale, everything is an additional 25% off our already low price. This is totally you. Oh. Yeah, this is the winner. Well, hello, Slumberland. Get your look for less at the huge president sale at Slumberland. You make plans. What to wear, where to go, when to go, what to bring. And then the weather changes everything. Let News 3 Now First Warn Weather prepare you for what's coming. First, fast, and accurately so you can plan your life. All Comfort Services. We're here to make all of your home more comfortable. Welcome back. 6.52, time for the morning sprint. We start with Chris Reese and some negative double digits to start your Tuesday. Yeah, we have wind chill advisories out there until 9 o'clock this morning, Leah. It is downright cold. Here's some of those wind chills throughout southern Wisconsin this morning. 22 below the wind chill in Janesville right now. So we've seen a little bit of a breeze for our friends in Rock County. 30 below the wind chill in Dubuque, Iowa. 21 below the wind chill for Mineral Point and both Lone Rock as well. In Madison, our air temperature is 16 below, but there's not much in the way of wind. By the way, that's just an incredible, beautiful shot as the sun begins to rise there. Let that reflect, hopefully, well, your week and your day as you go throughout your Tuesday. Doppler track is all clear for us right now. That's the expectation as we go through the rest of the day. Temperatures gradually begin to warm up. We should see those highs right around 8 degrees into this afternoon. We're going to be watching the snow chance Thursday night and into Friday. All right, thanks, Chris. Dane County Health officials updating their gathering limits with a new emergency order that will go into effect tomorrow. Public health officials are changing the gathering limit sizes and basing it off of whether food or drink will be served. The new order also goes over updated face covering requirements and eases restrictions on sporting events. For the specific details, head to our website, channel3000.com, or download the free Channel 3000 News app. FEMA will now help people pay for COVID-related burial costs for low-income families in New York. 
Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer made that announcement yesterday. The money will be available by application only. It's being funded through a $2 billion federal disaster fund that includes $260 million specifically for New Yorkers. Dennis McDonough, officially President Biden's Secretary of Veterans Affairs. The Senate confirmed him yesterday. The 51-year-old is just the second non-veteran to lead the department. This is a live look at the U.S. Capitol this morning, where senators will start their first day of former President Trump's second impeachment trial. It will consist of a debate and a vote as to whether the trial itself is constitutional. The House has charged Trump with a single article of impeachment. It accuses him of inciting the deadly January 6th attack on the U.S. Capitol. One week from the February primary, everyone's going to have at least one race on the ballot. Statewide, nonpartisan race for state school superintendent, the person responsible for overseeing education policy. Seven candidates vying for this spot. Based on how you vote, the top two will advance to the general. I am truly sorry for the racism that manifested itself in social studies in our school environment on Monday. Some primary school district is apologizing for a racially insensitive assignment about slavery given to sixth graders last week. The district says it will now develop an anti-racist instructional framework and is committed to hiring a staff member to focus specifically on equity by July 1st. The three teachers who participated in the homework assignment are still on administrative leave. An investigation is underway by a third-party attorney. A Columbus woman in custody and facing federal charges this morning. She's accused of trying to hire someone off the internet to commit a murder. The federal complaint says Kelly Harper visited a murder for hire website on the dark web. The complaint says Harper provided the description of the person she wanted killed and shared some of their personal information. She made a payment in Bitcoin as well. If convicted, the 37-year-old faces a maximum 10 years in federal prison. It's that time of year again. Madison Police reminding you to be smart about warming up your cars. At least nine, nine have been stolen across the city just this week. It's only Tuesday. All of them left unattended while running. Some have been found abandoned, while others have been reported as being associated with robberies in store parking lots. And once again, another opportunity for you to download the First Warren Weather app, take out your phone camera, point it at the screen. It'll take you where you need to go. If you do not have this app, we're tracking the cold all week long. We're going to be tracking that chance of snow Thursday and into Friday. And with that app, you can track things along with us. And of course, we send out videos about three to four times a day, letting you know what you can expect in all of the latest changes before we even hit the air with some of those. So make sure you have that if you want it and you get a whole lot of other cool tools in there, too. A lot of cool stuff up yep. there. Thanks, Chris. Thanks for watching today, folks. Join us again tomorrow morning.